I'm Emma Wiltshire, I'm a Year 7 teacher at Great Oaks School, which is a special needs school. I am the Landscape Development Officer for Southampton City Council, and this play area is one of our most recent developments where we have looked at natural aspects of play and try to include as many of those features within this play park as possible. I like the wooden climbing bridge because there's animals on the outside. And we can talk about the animals that are around, talk about the trees, talk about the plants and actually it's just nice to be around nature. It's really good to be honest because it's enclosed, it's got a lot of space so it means that with our kids with special needs it just gives them a bit of a larger area so that they can play separately and not be up too much on top of each other. Originally the play area was a reservoir and we're talking some 40 or 50 years ago. Then it became a well-loved paddling pool but we felt at the council that the amount of use that this facility was getting during the year was minimal with it only being opened when the sun was out. I like the swings because you can go up high. One of the aspects that we always need to consider when designing and putting in the parks that we have in the city is to engage children so that they move outside. They're outside in the fresh air, they are engaging in physical activities and they are learning in the same process. Trying to move away from the, the tablets, the iPhones and the other computer games that seem to be taking up a huge percent of a child's time. Being outdoors, we feel as a city, is really important for the development physically, mentally and socially of all children within our area. All the children have said how much they love this park. I think because there's so many different facilities and there's a massive range. It's the best park that we've been to. Because of the, the use of this play facility, it has enhanced the rest of the common. 